Guys, right now we are herping in Arizona, and we've been looking for these little toads right here. And they've been all over the place because it's breeding season. And so right here we got a nice little beautiful red spotted toad, and we got the always gorgeous green toad. Now the green toads have this beautiful green coloration with this black modeling going all the way down, and a very long parotoid gland. And the parotoid gland is their poison gland. They use that poison gland to basically defend themselves. If any animal swallows them, that poison, known as a bufotoxin, basically is kind of like a heart suppressant. It will slow your heart rate down and can basically really hurt some of the animals that try and feed off of you. So most of the predators of these toads have to be really prey specific. They have to have some type of defense to be able to fight off this poison that they ingest with toads. You can also see these guys think they're caught right now by a predator, so they're swelling up real big. They're trying to make themselves impalatable, so basically you can't swallow them. They'll get stuck in your throat and you'll choke. Really, really cute guys, and they got the awesomest little coral sounds whenever they're trying to call in the ladies. But the crazy thing is, these guys are decent sized toads, but they're nothing compared to this big behemoth sitting right over here. Now I'm going to set these guys down just so I can grab this big one for you. But wait until you see this fella. Come on, die. This is the Sonoran Desert Toad. He looks just like a bullfrog. I mean, he's got this really green coloration, very, very huge parotoid glands. I mean, very elongated right here on the side. And he's even got glands going down his leg. And he's got these massive white tubercles right here at the side of his chin. And these dudes are so dang big, they basically have almost the same diet as a bullfrog. They'll eat other toads. They'll eat pretty much anything that can fit in their mouth. An astonishing jumper. Of course, not as big as a bullfrog because he is a toad, so he doesn't have the leg muscles or the, the jumping ability of a frog. But, I mean, still, it's incredible to see a toad grow to this size. Absolutely massive, and, boy, you can just imagine, if he were to swell up and a predator was trying to eat him, he'd choke just about anything. And the slime on his back is actually pretty crazy, too, because most toads have that real dry skin. He's producing a ton of slime on his back. These dudes come out in pretty much late June, July, around the monsoon time in Arizona, and that's when they'll start breeding. And they have really, really loud calls. And also, you'll notice, look at that big crown ridge right in the middle of his nose. That is also a great way to distinguish them and the bullfrogs between each other. But beautiful, beautiful toad. And a crazy thing about his toxin, too, is it a powerful hallucinogenic. And so a lot of people would actually used to lick these toads, and it would kind of make them trip out. And so that's why a lot of people basically don't like the toads, and they, uh, they don't want people to be catching them and using them for drug-type purposes. So they're trying to protect them and keep them from being put in the wrong hands, because they're way too cute to be sentenced to something like that. So we're going to have to let this fellow go. Absolutely gorgeous toad, incredible, massive parotoid glands on him. And uh, we'll see how big he can hop. Watch this. Oh, look at him go. Stands just like a bullfrog, too.